Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a different type of video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing, so stay tuned and watch. Today we're diving into the exciting world of Harbor Freight and the 3 ton jack low profile. Now, this is going to be the unboxing, like I said, so let's jump right on in. If you're new to my channel, I do a whole bunch of restoration guy videos on how to, do it yourself videos, and memes, stuff like that, all around the car culture and community. That's what I'm about in this channel, with all good vibes. So if you're into that, remember to like and subscribe. Now, if you like cool car merch and stuff like that, some cool car t-shirts, go over to my channel, go on into the description, and you can see the link over to my website that has all my t-shirts on there. I also sell thermoses, mugs, blankets, I even have puzzles. If you want a nice sweatshirt or a crew style shirt, I have hoodies, I have jackets, I have windbreaker jackets, I got a little bit of everything, so go on over and check it out. I also have an eBay page with some leftover parts in really good condition. Each post is listed very carefully with a correct description with good accurate photos that you can feel confident buying your parts. Alright, now we're going to go back to the product review. This Harbor Freight Jack 3 ton is a must have for car enthusiasts or anyone interested in the latest and greatest in the world of heavy duty equipment. In the budget zone, of course. This powerful and versatile jack is perfect for a variety of applications from automotive repairs to home improvement projects. Don't let yourself stand apart from everyone else and get yourself one of these while there's a good coupon out. One of the most standout features of this jack is the actual low profile design. This will make it easy to fit underneath even the lowest cars, trucks, or other vehicles. Even if you have some off-road ATVs or anything else like that, you can ensure that you're going to get the job done quickly and efficiently and be able to lift it up safely. Now, as you can see, all it takes is a little bit of a knife on the edge, and we have this box open and ready to go. The instruction manual is on the top. Now, let's move the foam out of the way, and as you can see here, we can get a good idea of the construction of this product. It's very sturdy. It has painted wheels, as you can see here, and a gloss black. So is the pad that lifts up underneath your vehicle, which gives it that symmetrical two-tone look. This is perfect if you have other things in your garage if you're trying to keep this color tone. They offer a variety of different colors from blue, orange, green, red, black, you can go check it out and see what else they have available. The colors are always changing. With the close up look here you see there's a grease nipple that we can put in there if you need to grease it up and get it ready to go. But it already comes pre-greased as far as I know. I'll look inside the instructions later. You can go about it the way that you want to. But it's as simple as reassembling and putting this back together. It's just one bolt to assemble and reassemble it. This makes it a perfect way of bringing it to the track or anywhere else or even just storing it inside your shop if you don't have that much space. And if you're also a garage warrior, this is perfect for you too. One of the standout features of this Harbor Freight Jack is also the low profile feature of this design. Now you'll be able to fit this underneath the lowest cars, trucks, and other vehicles, even ATVs if you're an off-roader. And this will ensure you get the job done quickly and efficiently. Another great aspect of this jack is its 3 ton capacity. When unboxing this 3 ton low profile jack, I did notice that the quality seems like it's built to last with sturdy steel construction that seems like it can withstand the toughest of jobs. With that thick layer of paint, it seems like we're going to be able to use this and not worry about it getting scratched up either. One good and easy function is the quick release handle, which all you got to do is twist it and it will allow you to lower back down to the ground and it will help you from overloading your jack. Plus, as you can see here, it pulls apart into two separate sections, and that's how they actually had it in the box itself. We can notice that there's a foam pad with the label Daytona on it. It seems thick, but also not thick enough where it's going to get in the way of your project or sliding underneath something. And it's also malleable where it can flex and you don't have to worry about scratching your paint. As you can see, the bar slides down into this coupling area and it's held on with the bolt. It will not go all the way down until you loosen it enough all the way and then retighten it back down. This will hold the handle slash bar in place and that way we can operate the jack and bring it up and down to the height that we require. As for a DIY installation, I also am showing you, you could just use some channel locks to tighten it down. I would also just recommend using a socket, but it really doesn't need much torque to hold it down in place. Give it a few turns clockwise after you're done loosening it, and you'll have it all set. 
Remember, give it a few turns. As you can see here, it's really loose already. They want you to turn to the right and give it some pressure so that way you can lift it back up in the air when you want to hoist something up. All right, now as you can see here, I'm trying to slide on the second part of this handle. There's a little push button tab right here in the center with the area drilled out on the bottom hole. So just remember, you gotta line them up and press it down enough and that way it will actually hold itself as the fastener. And this is a quick release so that you can store it wherever you want. It's not meant to be a permanent installation. Now as you can see, it's going up very easily and very smoothly. Especially for the price point that it's at, I am highly impressed with the functional quality of this jack. Now, if you're wondering about the max out height, it can go up about 20 inches and lift your vehicle up at that height. Then you can slide your stands underneath, which is also sold at Harbor Freight, which you can check out in my short. I'll be making an unboxing of that product next. I'll also be making a video on the functionality of this jack underneath a vehicle so that you can see how it can get underneath something low, just like a Mustang, a Charger, a Challenger, a Camaro, anything like that. Even your imports or European sports cars will lift that up too. Now compared to other jacks in this price range, I will say most of them do not have as thick metal or casting around them. This also makes you feel like you will be able to lift up 3 tons without the jack creaking or cracking underneath the pressure. Compared to other jacks in the same price range, this one seems like it's one of the best ones that you can go with and still feel safe. Overall, the Harbor Freight Jack 3 ton low profile is a fantastic addition to your toolbox or your garage and it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the market for a heavier duty jack. The movement is almost noiseless so if you're looking for a jack that doesn't make too much noise this one might be yours too. It does have rear swivels that allow you to do a 360 turn. Now I wouldn't recommend using this in any other area except for pavement or asphalt as you can tell these are not going to roll the best over gravel or anything else like that. Of course I have used these type of wheels in the gravel, but I choose to lift them up instead of dragging it. So that would definitely be one of the cons, but I think almost every jack has these style wheels, so you're never going to be able to roll them around on the gravel that easily. So as it's pretty much a universal thing, I wouldn't really make that such a big negative or stop you from purchasing it. Although they do make special jacks that are meant for off-roading or 4x4. I think they actually sell one at Harbor Freight. The wheels are actually a little bit different. They're going to be able to have that tread that you need to roll in and out. Now keep in mind, this is my honest opinion about this product. It's not a paid opinion. I'm not sponsored by them. Not like I wouldn't want to be sponsored. Hint, hint, if you're listening. Anyway, back on a serious note, I'm going to be as fair as possible when I go over these products, and that way you guys can feel safe when buying something. Full disclaimer, I didn't make these products, so anything that happens is not my responsibility. This is just an honest opinion. If you take a look at this as it's going up and down, like I was saying before, it's a very fluid machine. As you can see, the manufacturers also zinc plated or polished all the bolts that are on this product. This will help fight the corrosion or anything else like that, but I still recommend spraying some WD-40 or some protecting spray all over those bolts if you're going to be working outside with this and it's not stored inside. Even if you just leave it outside for the night holding up a vehicle with some scissor jacks underneath it or some stands, I still recommend that you spray everything down and make sure you don't leave anything exposed. The housing is still made out of mild steel or hardened. I will not know that unless I contact the manufacturer. So in hindsight, if there's a scratch in the paint, it will also cause some corrosion. So you're more than welcome to put something over the green or whatever paint color you chose material. That way you have extra protection if you have it outside. Now, here's one question you guys might have. What is the lowest I can go with my vehicle and still get this underneath it? Well, this was designed to fit anything with three and a quarter inch clearance underneath. So at that point, you're gonna either have to drive up on ramps or you can even drive over pieces of wood and that will give you the extra bit of clearance that you need and that way you can get this jack underneath there. And if you have a lift, then you don't have to worry about even having a jack like this usually, unless you're just trying to pop off some tires and stuff like that. 
but that's a different note. This is for usually the everyday person or someone who has a shop. I'm not going to discriminate because it is some really good quality and I would have it in my professional shop too. I'm one of those people who have to say that I like to use almost every brand and almost every brand has its place depending on its quality and the level of durability and what it could be doing. That's why I know some brands are better for home utility versus on the job. Like I use Milwaukee for my day job doing electrical work and stuff like that. Being versatile with your brand loyalty is very important because there's a lot of good quality things out there. All right, guys, check out my merch for sale and remember to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this or even some restoration videos. I also put up memes and stuff like that. So remember, you will be able to see almost anything that you like on this page if you like car stuff. I'll see you next time.